In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install Axiom for Minecraft Java version 1.21.11. So, let's get started. To begin, simply go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, go to your search bar and search up mod Rinf, like this. Now enter, here you'll find modrinf.com, click on modrinf, and this will bring you to the mod homepage. Here, all you have to do is go to discover content on the top of the website, then go down to mods. Now go to search mods and search up Axiom, like this. Axiom, here, find the Axiom mod and click on the name. This will bring you to this page here, and all you have to do is go to versions, then go to game versions, and choose 1.21.11. Here, find a release for this version and simply click on the green download button. And there you go, you now have Axiom. Something else you need is Fabric API. You can get by going to the name here and going to the version name. This will show up the change log and all you have to do is scroll down. You'll find something called dependencies. Click on Fabric API here, then go to versions. Then go to game versions and choose 1.20.11. Now find the latest release for it and go to the green download button. And there you go. This now gives you Fabric API. One thing you need is Fabric. To get Fabric, go to a new tab, go to your search bar and search up Fabric Minecraft, like this. Now enter, here you'll find fabricmc.net, click on Fabric. This will bring you to the Fabric homepage. Now go to the blue download button and then go to the blue download for Windows button if you're using Windows. And now what you want to do is simply go ahead and close or minimize your web browser once you have all the files you need. So I'll close mine and then you want to go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. Now what you want to do is go to Fabric API and double click it. Once you're here, all you want to do is wait for the installer and make sure the information is correct. If it is, go to install. Now, go on OK and close. So, all you have to do now is simply go to the Minecraft launcher. From there, you'll be able to go ahead and add the two mods to the mods folder. So basically, what you want to do is go to installations here on the top of the launcher then you want to go and hover over Fabric Loader and go to the folder icon. Now, all you want to do is go to Mods and double click the folder. Once you're here, go to Downloads, select the two mods and copy them. And now go to the top left arrow to go back to the previous folder and click Paste. And now you have Fabric API and Axiom in the of Mods. Here, go back to the Minecraft launcher here and then go to Play. Here, make sure Fabric Loader is selected and go on play. Here, you might have to do I understand the risks and click play again. And now you have to wait for Minecraft to open up automatically. Okay, once Minecraft has opened up here, what you want to do is go to a single player world and then you can go to create new world or join a world you already have. In this case, I'll make a new world here. And what you want to do here is simply make your world correct to actually use Axiom, so like Creative, for example. And then what you want to do is once you're here, you're going to have a tutorial here to simply show you to use the Builder mode. You need to use Left Alt and use Editor mode. You need to use Right Shift. So that is something to note. So here we can do Cancel. And here what you want to do is, for example, the tutorial said that we need to go ahead and use left alt. So using this, we'll show up this menu here. So here it is. And what you want to do is, for example, go through these settings here and you can go ahead and actually enable different parameters while you use Axiom. And here you can, of course, have different inventories if you want. So you can have faster editing here with your actual item. So here you can have a bunch of different items here and you just select what hard bar you want. This will make the process a bit faster. And the right shift key will show up this thing. And what you want to do here it is quite simple. You want to continue on the tutorial. You have to do this to actually use it. And here we can now actually start to use. So here we have this 
flush here, which is the sphere. We can change this to anything we want, like a cube. And we can just go ahead and like right click basically. And we'll just go ahead and actually go ahead and place it. So that is the idea of this thing. And yeah, you can go ahead and actually just change anything you want. So that is pretty good. So for example, if we go ahead and actually select something different this time. So here we have to do this again. Just make sure to always do continue in the tutorials. And if we want to change our active block to lava, we'll now have just a bunch of lava we're just painting. So that looks like that. So that is the idea here. We can make that would be probably too big. We can make it a bit bigger, like so. And this could create a bit of a lag, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. And uh, here we have, again, all different options again. So that is pretty cool. So as you can see, we do have somewhat of a cube thing. This is the noise here. So doing this will actually give you more of a cube than what we have earlier. So like that. And if we add noise, it will just like look a bit more, well, noise. It will just become a bit more abstract. So that's something we can do. We have the noise radius, of course, just to make it a bit more like different. It's just to give it a bit more style, honestly. And there's like a lot to this. But yeah, we can just make this really big. And I will probably crash your game, no. But look at this. So here we just probably uses some form of like actual we can just go on the uh, basically right shift key again. But it this basically uses like some form of map, some form of color map or something. And it just goes ahead, maybe noise map, but it just actually makes some form of structure. This is like a really good example of what noise does here because you can really see the different things. It looks really cool, like one piece of this cube, it actually looks nice. It creates a structure, which is pretty original. And mobs can spawn as well. So yeah, that is how we get ourselves. Axiom for Minecraft Java version 1.21.11. So yeah, if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. And see you for the next one. Bye.